What's up, Kicking Over Sports Squad? We are back with another video, y'all. Right now, I really don't feel good. I'm not going to even lie. Um, the scariest thing happened to me in my years today. Um, my body is still a little shooken up from it, but I want to eat. So, and I don't I need to feed my baby. I only fed my baby french fries today. But I just had two bananas and she was very, very happy. She was moving around and everything. So that's a good thing. Um, but this is going to be a cooking with, cook and record. Hamburger helper edition. So I usually get the, I, I started off with this. The hamburger helper mix. But then I started to go to the Velveeta. But they, they was all out of the Velveeta. So I was able to get it. Got my meat. Um, I get ground beef. This is the family pack. So I got two of those. Um, I'm probably gonna be sitting down most of the video, um, only because the what I just went through. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna give you a little story time. Uh, but I got two little story times, but the first one's gonna be about what happened to me today. So. I um, uh, give me a spoon. As y'all can tell, it's later in the day. I got my night down on, but um, so y'all, yeah, I went to five below. Let me show y'all what I got from there. But I went to Five Below and I was I was okay at Five Below. Like I was cool, I was chilling, you know. By the time I got to Myers, y'all, it was like everything in me just stopped. I got so dizzy. Um, like I'm about to get ready and pass out. If y'all watch my videos, y'all will know I have syncope, which means, you know, basically I could fall out at any time, no matter what I'm doing. Um, so, you know, that came over me. I started getting hot. That's how I knew. I was about to get ready to do it. My, my chest started beating fast. I was getting hot, dizzy. I was shaking, could barely walk. People looking at me like I'm crazy. So I had to go sit inside the freezer part. I had to go sit inside the freezer part till my body can calm down and, you know, go back to a good temperature. So after that happened, um, I seen a Gatorade, you know, on the shelf. So I was going to open up a Gatorade. Start drinking Gatorade, whatever, to try to get me, de you know, maybe I was dehydrated, so I drunk Gatorade. That made me, that did make me feel a little bit better that I was drinking Gatorade. Um, so I was able to check out. I sat in the car for a little bit, ate two bananas, talked to my mom all the way here. So that way, if anything happens, she's on the phone with me. But usually when I have syncope, I don't have it. Like, I never had it. I never experienced it when I was out. I always experienced it when I was at home. Um, so that was a little bit scary for me. And I was driving. So it was, like, even more scarier. But I'm going to do this video sitting down. Um... So I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Five Below. And then also comment down some questions y'all want me y'all want me to do. Um and I'll do them. So just let me know. But so these are just some black shoes I got for work. They're like day-to-day -day wear. I got those. 
five dollars. Bless you. Okay. Um, I got a little slip on ones. I love them shoes. Thank you, five dollars. I got a water bottle for home. Um, it says do more things that brings you real and honest joy. I got this for home so that way at nighttime when I'm thirsty, I don't gotta keep getting up to get something to drink. I can have it right here. And I didn't want one, I didn't want the one with the straw. And then last but not least, I got um my selfie stick. I was able to get the car mount that was out of it. So I'm just gonna order one off of Amazon real fast. But it's connect your phone and it's visible it's um Bluetooth. So I got a little controller with it. This was five dollars. So hopefully it fits my phone. But it says it's compatible with most smartphones, remote control, play pause, and a shutter button. So Okay, so so I think some batteries come in it. So it's a foldable tripod, a vertical horizontal viewing. So let's see. I'm letting the meat cook. I'm about to mix it up in a minute, but I'm trying to keep the tape on. But I was going to comment down below some uh, questions y'all want to know about me. Um, so I can do an updated Q&A. Um, 200 followers. I will be doing a giveaway. Cash giveaway. So. Then if I get a thousand subscribers. I'll do like an electronic giveaway. Like some AirPods or some something like that. Let's see if I get a thousand subscribers. You get something electronic. But two hundred subscribers is a cash giveaway. So if y'all want to win some free cash, make sure y'all follow me, share. Share this video with your friends and family. Let them know. Kicking the record is giving away some cash. So, I don't like to, you know, try to mess up the box. Just because I got to take it back. If it doesn't fit. But if it does, I'm a, um, my goal is to transfer my phone to here. So that way it's not, you know, standing on something. And I'll be able to see like the food and stuff better while I'm cooking. Dang. That's like they super glued this, y'all. Okay. Well, it took me five years to open that. I said they ripped me off. Where is the So the play button is right here. So this is the selfie way to hold it on the selfie stick. And then but it says it can extend, so I guess this is
y'all yeah, see how to do it, but right now this is the selfie stick way. Um, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and stir up the meat. So the second story time is When I was in high school, y'all, my school had like um, a hip, uh, like when you get hip, hypnotized, yeah. So we had like, you know, a little, uh, a person that would come and, you know, hypnotize us, whatever, at school. Um, right so this guy that was at my school he thought he was able to hypnotize right so at first i was just playing along with him you know like oh you know what i'm saying but he wasn't really hypnotizing me so he thought he could hypnotize me to like him but that didn't work because I never, you know what I'm saying? I never had any interest in him or to even like him. But he thought that it was working because I was playing. But I didn't know he was trying to hypnotize me to like me. So, he doing all of that, whatever. And, you know, I wasn't, um, I wasn't going for it. So, I was like, you know, no. He was like, do you like me now? And I'm like, no. Do you like me now? No. Mind you, it's like we in the hallway. It's like lockers. I'm right here. He's right there because he just left out. And I guess it was like people right there, me and my friends. And I guess he felt like I embarrassed him. Or I was like, you know what I'm saying? Because he was hypnotizing me to like him. So, you know, I told him, like, I don't like you. You're not my type. I would never date you. Blah, 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 blah. All right? Uh, so couple of like weeks so we get out of school everything's smooth we, we you know we catch the bus home whatever everything's smooth so now i believe it's like the weekend don't quote me but i think yeah i think it was the weekend because we was moving from one apartment to i mean one condo to another condo so no we was in the in that so my first the first house we was in Bloomfield Hill. So the first house was a condo, but it was like a, yeah, it was still a condo. I'm trying to imagine it, but yeah. So they both were still condo, but we just moved. I think that was a two bedroom. We moved into a three bedroom. That's what it was. So we moved from the two bedroom to the three bedroom and we're not. And, um, that's when I started living next to Bob. If y'all watched my last video, y'all know who Bob is. So, I lived next to Bob and the fireman. But we was moving from the other house. So, I was upstairs in my room, you know, packing up. You know, we had the doors open. Because, like, we going, like, literally right down the street. So, it's not like we fire from the new house so we left the doors open whatever and uh i'm gonna call him billy so we left the doors open billy stays you know in my neighborhood so he knows where i live at whatever so billy decides to run up in the house grab a wire hanger and starts to choke me with y'all mind you i was scared for my life uh you know, because it caught me off guard. But yeah, he he choked me with a wire hanger because I would not be with him. And luckily, I only made it. Was it a wire? It was a wire hanger or a belt. I know it was one of those. It was one of those, but I know for sure he had it. I think it was. I think it was a belt, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it was his. He took his. He had a belt and he strangled me with it, y'all. 
So I'm like trying to like, you know, I'm holding it like this, trying to get it off. Can't scream, can't do nothing because, you know, I'm talking. So luckily, uh, Bob was helping me move to the new house. So he, so he just like, by the grace of God, he came upstairs to my room and he seen him and he just, you know, pushed him. And, you know, hit him with him, like, what the heck, what's, like, what the heck is wrong with you, blah, 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 blah. So, from that day forward, I was scared because, like, I felt like, you know, he, he wasn't done. Like, he really wanted to kill me. So, I'm like, uh, you know, so my mom, so my mom ended up coming, she ended up finding, you know, Saying I that was telling her what happened and whatever. We called the police. The police tried to look for him. We couldn't find him. He was out of school for a couple of days. Um, didn't come to school, didn't catch the bus or anything. So I'm like, you know, I'm real nervous. I'm like watching my back. So I made the police report, had a strain of order against him. I kid y'all not, y'all. So at the new house, he will be by the tree. And, you know, that's, you know, that's breaking the restraining order. And uh, so, I, you know, I would call the police. I told my mama we would call the police, let them know that, that he's still stalking me um, and everything like that. What? Nothing. Go ahead. He's still stalking me and all this other stuff. So, um, the police ended up coming to get him or whatnot. He got kicked out of school. Let me show y'all the food right quick. So this is the meat. Almost done cooking. All right, so. Dang, I forgot where I left off. But yeah, so he didn't go to school, whatever. So the police had, you know, was looking for him and whatnot. So he got expelled. Then you're gonna drain, him, drain my meat. So he got expelled and whatnot uh, from school. So, you know, I have, I, you know, I wasn't able, you know, I, I didn't see him no more. I didn't see him in the neighborhood. I didn't see him in school. So I was able to, you know, finish going to school, whatever. But yeah, all because he tried to hypnotize me to like him and it didn't work. So y'all, if y'all school ever bring a hip, hypnotist to y'all, don't fall for it. Don't go for it because people are really crazy and think that they can really hypnotize you and then if they do try to hypnotize you do not act like they are do not act like they are hypnotizing you because they are crazy like literally he was literally crazy i was definitely scared for my life like bringing up that story is just like crazy itself but, you know, I'm just glad to be alive. I'm just glad Bob came at the perfect time to save me. Um, because if he didn't, I would not be here today. And, and that's, that, that's the honest to God truth. I think that man was really trying to kill me um but like it was just so scary because like he was like because my window my bedroom window at the new house at the new condo it faced a tree and he was just standing right there by the tree and i'd be so fucking scared like so fucking scared I me mean, so freaking scared and um freaked out but yeah yeah so that was a little story time. By the way, I feel 10 times better uh, with, you know, eating two bananas and drinking more juice. I need to be drinking some water. But I'm going to drink some water when I eat my dinner. Usually I would make, mm, I don't got no small pan. I would have made some cornbread.
So I'll probably make that tomorrow. Some honey cornbread to go with this. But the meat is all set and done. Um, I could show y'all the seasonings I use real quick. I'm about to go drain the meat. Put this on low. And I'm about to drain the meat. All right, cook. So you take it to the drainer. I leave a little, little grease in there. So that way the noodles won't be sticking. But the seasonings I'm going to use today is going to be some ranch seasoning, some essence, essence. Lowry, Lowry seasoning. Um, I think that's about it. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder. That's it. This a little bit of garlic powder. So, using this, 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 and. So these are all the seasons I'm going to use. So in the box, it comes with noodles. And this is like the seasoning slash cheese. To make it cheesy. See the one from, the, from Velveeta, I like theirs because Theirs come with the seasoning and it comes with the, you know, they'll be the cheese to make it even more cheesier. So while that's draining out, I'm gonna use both of these boxes. So what I do is, how I measure, you can measure the right way by using, you know, their measurements. See, with the Velveeta one, you didn't need milk. But with this one, you need milk. So you can cook it with milk or without milk. I didn't have milk last time, so I didn't use it. But normally, I would use milk, but it still came out good without milk. So as y'all see, that's the kids' favorite. They love hamburger helper, spaghetti, tacos. Oh, I just waste a little bit of meat. Okay. He want me to tell, tell you all that his brother MJ. Ate all the um, hamburger helper last time. But yeah, this is my kid's favorite. So I'm going to show you all how I do it. I just add the noodles in. I'm going to flip the camera around. So y'all can see. And then make sure the noodles get all in within the meat. I could have went for one more box. Low key. But... That'll be okay. So I'm gonna show y'all. All right, so this is how it looks. I added the noodles to it so that way I can know how much water and milk I'm gonna add to it. So I'll be right back. All right, so I added the milk and the water. Think about hamburger helper is you can uh, you can keep adding water to it if you need to, but so I'm gonna turn the heat back up and then I'm gonna let this come to a boil. Then I will add the cheese and stuff. Oh yeah, the most important part, the seasoning. I just take a little bit of seasoning. Season with the garlic powder. That's it.
You can put whatever seasoning you like in it. Me, I like a lot of, I like more so ranch seasoning than anything. Y'all, I'm planning on making some chili this week. Maybe this week or next week, but I really want some chili. Comment down below if y'all eat chili in the, in the summertime. Hold on. Because it's a lot of meat, so. Alright. You're going to take that. And then you're going to stir it. And then put a lid on it and bring it to a boil. So I'll be back once the meat, I mean, once the food comes to a good boil. Okay, y'all. So this is how it looks when it's done. The noodles get thick. Not thick, I should say. They get bigger than what it was. I left a little bit of water in here. Because it's going to all, you know dissolve once I put like the cheese and stuff in it but this is it you know you could also you know test your noodles to make sure like they're soft and good and everything like that so I'm about to go ahead and add the first seasoning Oops, hold on. okay so I'm about to add the first pack in Get all of it. Then I'm going to mix it. That's why I need my selfie thing so that way. I'm mixing it real good. I still got the oven on medium, I mean low. But you see like how it's not my water. All right, so that's the first one. cheese it looks totally different in person than it does on the camera so i'll make sure i get a good picture for y'all but it looks way much better um in person but i'm about to go ahead and get this all stored up nice and evenly and then i get back on once i'm done Alright y'all, so I'm done. I do apologize I wasn't able to get y'all the best cooking video. I thought my little tripod selfie stick would actually work. I just gotta figure out how to do it. If that was the case, I would have used my ring light with the selfie stick on there. I'll do that for the next video. Um, I make the chili. So this is my plate. I made the kids plates already. I cleaned up. The kitchen is clean. Food, the rest of the food is in the tubbleware. Put that, let it cool down, then put it in the, um, in the, uh, refrigerator. But, just go ahead and try with y'all before I end this video. Mm-hmm. This is good. I'm going to say that I might be able to watch some YouTube videos, some reactions, chill out. what you gotta do but um i got my braces tightened today she's and i got my uh color changed to green uh she said my bottom teeth is doing so amazing so she got me on a thick wire 
Um, my top teeth is doing good. We just, you know, keep retracting them. So that way they could close up the, uh, the gaps. What's he doing is taking this canine and bringing it back. So once this canine is back here, and then she's gonna bring them all back together. So that way we can close up the gap. So my braces, process is doing so well. I love the love my results right now. But yeah, that was the end of this video. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post and drop a video. Um, I do got like four videos right now that I did edit, so I'm just dropping them. I'm just letting my other videos get some views. Um, and then I drop the rest of them. I might drop another one tonight. But thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see y'all in the next clip. Peace.